Hi everybody, my name is Sid Aiden. I am one of your peer mentors for Library 203. I'm going to tell you a little bit about internships. I'd like you to look at the home page when you get an opportunity. Go to Current Students, go down to Courses, then to the right you'll go down to Internships, to the right once again, and on the second line you'll see Library 294 Student Handbook. Click on that and you go to the page that will give you the um, description of your course, the Library 294 for MLIS Internship. Go to the left and you will see under Internships a whole list of pages that are included in the handbook. The first page you need to be most aware of is Eligibility, in which you must have completed Library 200, 202, 203, 204, and at least three elective courses, and in addition to which be an academic good standing with a 3.0 GPA or above. The next page will tell you about the orientations which you must participate in. Those are held in the fall and spring semesters. The next page will be choosing an internship. Then you will look for the following page, Learning Outcomes in which the SLIS program has provided you with uh, Bloom's Taxonomy of Learning, the Writing Learning Outcomes, and Learning Outcomes as Learning Expectations, which will assist you in creating your set of learning outcomes. If you go back over to the left, there's a page for applying for an internship. Underneath that, negotiating with the site supervisor of the location that you have selected for your internship. Then the next page will be registering for Library 294, which you will need to do. And please be mindful of registration and enrollment dates, which are given on this page. Go back over to the left, and you will see a page fulfilling the course requirements, in which you will be expected to maintain a log. You will need to complete a final report and you will need to prepare a site evaluation form at the end which will provide feedback on the internship site's effectiveness and uh, is very, very important for uh, the SLIS program in order for them to keep considering that particular site. Go back over to the left and last but not least is uh, a page that takes you to community profiles of students who had previously uh, participated in the internship program in classes, the class Library 294, and there are lots of fun to read, and it gets you real enthused about doing a like an internship. You go back over to the left, where it says SLIS Internship Listings Database. Click on that, and this gives you the opportunity to search for an internship site that will be one that you will want to select. Um, and it does give you, uh, for instance, whether you want to do on-site or virtual, whether you want to do an academic library, archive, government agency, public library, so on and so forth. Then if you have a particular institution name that you have in mind, the location, the task type, whether it's archival or non-archival, the pay status, which is either paid or unpaid, the semester that you wish to do the internship, and then any keywords that might be helpful in your search. Once you click on search, it will bring up all the potential internship locations, and depending on where you live and where you want to do the internship, they're, they're located all across the country and, of course, throughout California. So do take a look at this program. It is really, really good for you to consider when you are preparing your resume and going out for um, job interviews because they will see that you have had some experience in a library and internships can be invaluable. Good luck to everybody and um, I hope you enjoy your time being an intern.